This is the story of a game that changed everything. A crisp, gorgeous fighting game full of legendary, beloved characters that brought the entire fighting game community closer together and spawned rivalries and storylines no fan could ignore. Veterans of countless games, gods of anime fighters, and rising superstars all converged on the stages of Dragon Ball Fighters and put on shows that none of us will soon forget. This is... The Fighters Saga. At E3 2017, one fighting game got everyone's attention. Everyone shut up, here we go! Yo, is this it? Oh my goodness! It's the Dragon Ball game that's made by the Guilty Gear guys! Oh, yes! Oh my god! There he is! Yo! Oh my god! It's fucking Marvel! It's fucking Marvel, dude! When they initially announced Dragon Ball Fighters, the biggest reason I like lost my shit essentially is because it was an actual like real fighting game with like, all of my favorite characters. It was a like, versus fighting game, so it was like three on three, and that blew like almost everyone's mind. I saw that I had the battle director of Persona, and I love Persona 4 Arena. I have to enjoy this game. Like everything about it aligns for me. It's a team game, and I liked Marvel quite a bit. And then I got my hands on it, and I was like, damn, this game feels really good. Definitely has some essence of Marvel. Hell yeah, a lot of seasoning in terms of Marvel is there. You can see a little bit of that Guilty Gear when it comes to, you know, the blue combos or black combos in, in Guilty Gear's case. They had a child and it was uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. I think the most important part about the game was the ability to unite the entirety of the FGC. Everyone was hyped to play the game from all different walks, whether anime, you know, NRS, 2D, you name it, and it delivered. You know, seeing it grow to where it is today, especially in a fighting game, means a lot. Especially me coming from Marvel 2, we was like, man, what would be the next game that would be a Versus series? And like, one of the main ones we would always say was Dragon Ball, so. People not only played the game, but they stuck with it. Essentially, I dropped the uh, Marvel Infinite for Dragon Ball Fighters, and I put Injustice 2, like, on this, like, this is how I had now. Dragon Ball Fighters became my, uh, my main game. When Dragon Ball Fighters finally released, players came out in droves to try out Arc System Works' latest masterpiece. The fighting game community had its next big thing. In terms of like other esports games, it's a hard thing to quantify. But Dragon Ball, even the numbers at Evo show, it's the most popular game. It's the first game here at Evo to not be Street Fighter to have the most entrance. We know the numbers will be good, but to be in the lead? In comparison to Street Fighter, which has all this league support, which Dragon Ball started to get, but the Capcom Pro Tour is already solidified. Even without that structure, Dragon Ball has more entrance. It was kind of an easy call to know it was going to be big. You know, the Dragon Ball IP alone is just so massive. And the majority of fighting game players are anime nerds and, you know, I can kill people with Goku, why not? I think it's just the most accessible and easily understandable game that is also extremely deep at a high level that has come out in a long time. Um, my versus game background uh, is what makes me really strong at Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, I grew up playing games like, you know, Skullgirls for like the last like seven years, and then like Marvel Infinite. Uh, I got really strong at both those games, so uh, I have a pretty good idea about how versus games work. And uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, I was able to just blend in super easily to it. Um, I definitely like played the game like every day for like hours on end to get really, really strong at the game. I definitely kept studying the Japanese players, and I'm even doing that right now, still studying the Japanese players, and just to keep up because they keep advancing. In the meta so far. To make the run, here's the dunk into the level one, and Sonic fucks and dances into the winner's top eight. There's the pop off. And he had to call the bird to do it, man. I like it. I totally respect it. Like any fighting game, Dragon Ball Fighters was immediately labbed, mined, and optimized by top players and themes alike. The meta was quick to take shape. So things have solidified quickly. To start off, the meta is selling to boot. Right, those are the two best characters in the game, bar none. And then slowly it started shifting to more of like a aggressive playstyle in general. Like you just play a character that can like mix and one character has a good neutral assist. Adult Gohan, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo was coming on the rise, you know what I'm saying? With Bardock, he's a big super gorilla and he has very good mix-ups. But I feel like as the game evolved, it was more so, it got more optimal in terms of uh, TODs. More characters are like two L's and stuff like that, which is a crouching attack. 
And now it's uh, the meta's more like snapping people out, mixing them on incoming to get rid of all their defensive mechanics. If you snap them out, uh, the incoming character just has to take the mix up, essentially. That oh, was pretty sneaky right there. He set up uh, after that snap, I got the cross up, but he gets the Before a single major set had been played, all eyes were on Japanese powerhouse Goichi, certainly no stranger to the major stages of fighting games. I think DBZ. And Goichi, you know, he's an anime guy. We know what he's been doing in Melty Blood for years, just winning tournaments with random select. Defensive prowess is the most impressive I've ever seen, and I think in my history of watching fighting games. And with the switch to DBFZ, he has the mechanics down to a T. Ah, so this day, ah, no, yari konda dake, eh, to kekka ni miatta, ah, no, jizuroku ga tsuite kuru nde, so itta tokoro ga suki nano to, ato wa boku wa tada tada ni Dragon Ball ga suki nande, so no futatsu ga. <laughs> Goichi is like probably one of the best uh, Japanese players like, ever to play this game. His defense is like probably the best um, out of everybody's. Like the fact that you just can't open him up is like what makes him so strong, right? And like he knows how to attack almost every situation. He knows what you're gonna do before you do it. The first real showdown took place at final round 2018. Many of Japan's best players had flown to America to test their might against the rest of the field, and they did not disappoint. Final round 2018, and just to kick it off with some Goichi mm. versus Sonic Fox first to 10. Uh. This is actually a battle of the gods. People are already getting hyped. The crowd is getting filled up. Final round being super important you know it's the first time that people were to see everyone together in a high level atmosphere it was the start of something special man goichi coming through and just kind of annihilating sonic fox who was like far and away america's best player i definitely started off with like an exhibition against goichi and i lost pretty decisively it was pretty bad it was like what 10 10 4 it was, it was pretty bad this is presents on christmas Damn. In it's the dominance of adult Gohan and Vegeta, sis. And a game like that where he has to like heavily mix and play the nooch, as he would say, you know what I'm saying? Definitely Goichi was like that test for him, so. Going up to it, I had to fight like mad uh, strong players like Kazunoko, I had to fight like Moke. It, it, it was pretty rough, but uh, I ended up making comebacks of both of them and like just winning decisively and making it all the way to second place. Our first Dragon Ball Fighters champion here will be crowned at final round. Sonic Fox, we all know how much of a monster he is. This is the first time that somebody from the international side, which would be, you know, Japan, which was always known for just busting our ass, uh, especially in a game like that when it's anime style and fast paced. It was a test for Sonic. Like, he never really faced an opponent like that. I could have beat Goichi in Grand Finals, but slight errors uh, ended up making the uh, match really, really hard for me. Final flash incoming after this energy field, and this is going to be enough to do the job. Goichi, what a tremendous Grand Finals. And that was the very first time where I was just like, I never want to lose to this guy ever again. It just showed that uh, there was a lot that not only America had to learn, but Sonic Fox had to learn in order to really take it to those guys. It's the defense. It really is the defense. And with a huge player base and so much talent for everybody, he's just slaughtering them no matter where he is in the world. I think it's just proven that defense does, in fact, win championships, whether sports or video game competition. There's definitely a language barrier between us. Um, the, like, so sometimes we have like translators on standby, and like we can like definitely communicate to each other. But we like really, really enjoy our times like right next to each other, and like and, and, like because we like play like, to play each other a lot. So um, I think it's pretty sick. Uh, we like to have just have fun.